If you have an account with Ngati, then you can simply log into our portal. If you don't already have an account, then go to ngati.com and click on Sign Up for Free. Add your name, email, password, and phone number to sign up, then click on Create Account. You can also sign up using your Google account or your Office 365 account. Here, select the Shopify store option and click on Continue. Next, add your own WhatsApp phone number without the hassle of connecting your WhatsApp business API. Click on Continue to proceed. Now, enter your store details to set up your account. Add your brand name that will be visible to your users. Next, add your Shopify website link. Add the support email address and phone number that your customers can use to reach you. Modify the support working days, hours, and the time zone when your team will be available to respond to customer queries via inbox. For the final step, click on Get Started to set up your Ngati account. In this section, we will guide you on how to connect your Shopify store. Log into your Shopify store from Shopify.com. Go to your Shopify account settings in the left navigation panel. Under Apps and Sales Channel Settings, click on Develop Apps at the top. You need to add the Ngati app to your Shopify portal, and to do this, click on Create an App. Enter the app name in the modal that appears, for example. You can enter Ngati and then click on Create App. Next, go to the Configurations tab or click on Configure for Admin API Scopes. Select the checkboxes to provide permissions to easily capture orders from Ngati or display your catalog on multiple channels. To get started, enable the following. Write and read customer permissions allows us to easily search the customer information, such as their past order details or their address, and also allows us to keep these details up to date. Read discounts allows us to add the discount code you wish to send in automated notifications and website pop-ups. Write and read draft orders Permission allows us to create draft orders on your Shopify store, which are placed on your business, WhatsApp. Fulfillment services is required if you are using third-party apps and they are sending the order delivery status to your Shopify store. This will be used to send order notifications from Ngati. Write and read orders permission is required to send order delivery updates, which are placed on WhatsApp and other channels, and also for you to view them on the Ngati portal. Write and Read products allows you to create product tags, which can be used to display your products on WhatsApp and other such channels. Write and Read script tags are required to add our chatbot widget on your website and allow you to customize its appearance. Write and Read themes are required to fetch the current theme of your Shopify store and match the pop-up conversion CTAs. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Save. Next, go to the API Credentials tab. Click on Install App. Click on Install, again in the modal that appears. Now, your API access token and secret key will be generated. This needs to be added while setting up your Shopify store on Ngati. Keep this tab open for the next step. Now let's go back to the Ngati portal. In the Quick Guide, under Account Setup, click on Connect Store. Add the account name, which can also be the same as your brand name. You then need to add the Shopify store address. To get your store address, open your Shopify store admin in another tab. Go to Online Store in the left navigation panel under Sales Channels and click on the store preview icon that appears when you hover over it. Copy the URL from the address bar. Ensure you remove the slash from the end and the HTTPS from the beginning. This is your Shopify store address. Now go back to your Shopify portal and click on Reveal Token. Copy the token and paste it in API Access Token field. 
Save this token someplace secure in case it is required in the future. Finally, copy the secret key and paste it in the API secret key field. Click on Connect to complete the setup.